Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can update your drivers on Windows 11. Super powerful, super easy when you know how. So smash a like button, subscribe for more and let's get started. Okay guys, so here we are on the desktop and I'm going to show you quickly how you can update your drivers when it comes to you know, Windows 11 here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the search bar at the bottom and I'm going to search for device manager. I'm just going to do that. We're going to bring that up and I'm going to bring it over to the correct screen here. Okay, so this is your device manager. It can be a little bit overwhelming if you're not used to it, um, but it is actually quite straightforward, right? Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to find the piece of software, you know, that isn't working or the hardware that's just not working as expected. And we want to check to see whether or not it has any more or new uh, driver updates, okay? Now, there's lots of different ways to kind of go ahead and do some of these. Let's take the NVIDIA G4 RTX 5080 that's running in this PC. If we were to right click on this, we could go ahead and see that there's update driver, but I personally wouldn't do that for something like the NVIDIA GeForce RTX. I would actually use the NVIDIA app to basically make sure that that is up to date. So, you know, we wouldn't necessarily do it with that particular one right there. The Intel, you know, graphics on the other hand, that I might actually do via this method. We can go to properties, for example, bring up our property details here, and we can see that there's driver tab right here. And here you can see the various different versions. In fact, this driver update was the 16th of the 4th, 2025. And we can go ahead and click on update driver right here to see if there is in fact any new drivers available. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and we're going to search for drivers automatically. Okay, and we're gonna do that. And you can see here that the best drivers are already installed so we don't have to do anything. If we've downloaded the drivers, we could search for those uh, on our drivers on a specific Windows update, etc. But for the most part we don't have to do anything now if an update is available then it should be able to be found and installed right here via this now of course the other method is to navigate to the actual kind of uh, hardware or software provider usually hardware provider and um, you actually go there to their official website download their latest driver update and install it via their exe executable file okay that is another method to go through as well but for the most part, most people are just going to need to navigate to the device manager, find what it is that they're looking to essentially update the drivers on and basically right click properties, drivers and update. You can of course right click here and basically do an update of the driver as well. Uh, lots of different ways to do. You can see here I've got two Elgato prompters as well. I could come to properties, I can go to driver, I can basically go ahead and update the driver here as well, search for anything and you can see that the driver drivers or the best drivers are already installed. It's important that you do this as well to keep make sure that all of your kind of hardware is in fact running at the most up-to-date levels um, because sometimes you know things can get a little bit buggy over time so it's good to kind of go through and check all of those things but basically you want to head over to the device manager and basically find the hardware right click properties driver update drivers. Okay guys it was as easy as that hopefully this worked for you let me know in the thought uh, your thoughts in the comments down below and of course like the video and subscribe for more and I'll catch you all in the next one.